Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Well, Todd, that's it. It's all done and dusty. Just give us your, your feelings on that game there. Well, obviously, uh, the, the third and fourth game uh, is a difficult game um, for the most part because it's meaningless. I have to tip my hat to Cardiff Devils for their professionalism. Um, I thought they came out and I, I thought they played a good entertaining game for their fans. Um, this is our second experience in that third and fourth game and, and um, uh, look, uh, I'm not going to make any excuses. Um, I thought we were more entertaining in uh, the second half of that game. Um, but, um, you, you know, we got a lot of support down here. I w talked to the boys about uh, the mentality you have to go into that game. I, I think it's important that you don't want anybody getting hurt in these games, but sometimes when you go half pace, uh, that's exactly when, when those kind of things can happen. But it's done and dusted, and um, it, clearly we were uh, very disappointed from losing out, um, you know, in the semifinal yesterday. Um, and, ho and hopefully um, the memories uh, that the fans have of uh, the last month, that's what these guys are remembered for, because I think they've been a very... Um, dedicated, hard-working and uh, classy hockey team over the last, uh, certainly I believe all year, but the second half of the season was really when they came into their own and um, you know, it's a little bit of a shame to go out like that, but um, we're, we're a good, good club and uh, I'm, I'm really proud of the guys. It, I, no one I, I suspect would ever doubt the professionalism of, of either team, but it must be really difficult to get yourself into the right frame of mind to come out and play. Well, it really is, and I mean, I, I really think that um, we got the wind knocked out of ourselves. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, the Cardiff Devils are exactly the same, but it, it is it is very tough to get up for for a match like that. Um, you know, I was very conscious that we wanted to go out and there's a lot of people that came down south to, to see us and we wanted to entertain them. Um, there was a lot of hopes on this weekend and, uh, you, you know, we came up a bit short. But um, we'll be a better organization for it and a better team. And, um, you know, I can't thank, uh, uh, you, you know, the, our hosts, the Elite League, enough for, for the, the experience of this weekend. And... Um, we don't have the best of records in this uh, competition, but um, hopefully in the future that's something we can alter. And then what you can take away is that's two years out of five that you've made it to the Elite League Finals, which there's a lot of other teams trying to do exactly the same thing. Look, I mean, this is going to sound like a parent here all of a sudden, <laughs> but it's a tremendous accomplishment just getting here. Now, I don't want to be satisfied with coming to an Elite League Finals weekend and, and not winning a thing uh, again. Um, but you're right, um, we've, we've come on leaps and bounds in the last five years. If you remember um, from our first season where we had something like eight wins, um, to being on the big stage twice um, and, and over the, you know, the, the course of uh, our two seasons here, or three seasons here, we've really competed for things and, uh, and really We've had some excellent players and excellent teams we've put together. Um, but this league is just continually improving and, and expanding and getting better. Um, and it just shows um, the, the playing field out there is, is just always the benchmarks getting moved higher and higher and higher. And uh, came up against some classy teams here the last couple months and uh, some of the best teams that uh, have arguably played in Britain. So um, it's a great league. and. Uh, we should be as proud as a group that we've been here uh, uh, two times in three years and um, we've got to find a way to make that next step. Now, of course, the questions that suddenly everybody's going to be asking, in fact, they have been since about 8, eight o'clock last night, just take people through what happens next. Do you guys have a break? Do you start having conversations with people about next year? Just, just how does it work? Oh, well, I mean, there's always conversations that go on behind the scenes. Um, we really like to stick to the task at hand, and, and that was um, A, getting past the quarterfinals, A, making the playoffs, B, getting past the quarterfinals, and then C, coming here and, and uh, really trying to compete for, you know, for the ultimate trophy. But um, we'll, I'll have all, all our exit meetings with um, certainly the imports um, on, by Tuesday. I'll give the guys a bit of time to decompress here and enjoy themselves tonight. 
um, and you know we have an indication of, of what most players are thinking and, and where they're at um, and uh, you know we're not in a we're not in a the mode of, of hanging back and, and not um, putting out press releases regarding player signings and stuff like this but we also um, want to make sure everything's in order and, and get things sorted out and, and give guys really time to think because it, it's amazing what a few weeks will do to a player's psyche um, as far as a wanting to return um, I, I will say this we'll have a we'll have a few retirals this season um, and and we'll have a few good boys that uh, go on to to, to different adventures um, but there's a core of this group that we'd definitely like to have back and um, we'll identify that to players and and hopefully we'll have some announcements for some some for our supporters soon I know that um, it seems to be a different era now that teams have released uh, or signed most of their team uh, for the upcoming season and gotten out to fans. Um, and I know Pfeiffer's love a wee bit of gossip and uh, and the rumor mill, um, but we'll get out that information out to people as quick as we can. And just finally, we've got the final coming up. We've got Coventry against uh, the Nottingham Panthers. What what do you expect from the final? Well, I mean, if you would have asked me before I watched Coventry play yesterday, I would have, I would have thought this was uh, Nottingham's. But um, I'll tell you, under Chuck uh, Weber and uh, what the, what that team's gone through as well, if the, their seasons maybe mirrored ours a touch in regards to um, how they went through some adversity at the start of the season and they were getting a lot of heat to, to mold it into the team they are now. And, and they find themselves in the second final in two years. A tremendous accomplishment and, and something that really has to be congratulated. I mean, Nottingham in their home building, always dangerous. We saw that last night, but uh, I'll tell you, every time Coventry had that puck on their stick last night, they looked dangerous. So it's really a coin toss, but um, my guess is is that uh, Nottingham will win it by a goal or two. Todd, thanks very much. Thank you.